right, this is crazy. Made it through security. And now, in the Turkish Airlines wing, Dulles Airport. 30 years I wanted to do this. This is crazy. Gate B43, almost there.
final stages of loading up. The boys are ready. We're hungry. You are hunting Marco Polo and I am bringing that Marco Polo and says goodbye. safety tip we're not going in there got the military checkpoint here these are the nicest guys nicer guys these folks are going through this gentleman is running the checkpoint he asked us to get out of the car, look into the car, look at our passports. And look at these mountains here, the Mark IV sheep come down. If you look real hard up there on the right hand side, you can see their machine gun post up there. Looking across the river, because if you look back here at the road, these mountains on the other side there is Afghanistan. And on the other side around that corner is the Taliban checkpoint. So, Kind of cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Afghanistan. And you look real hard. Way up there is the Taliban flag. Spend the night across from Afghanistan. Kind of cool. Holy shit. We're here at the final checkpoint. Look at this sweet little baby doll. Just gave her some Pringles chips. Hello, sweetie. Hello, baby. Hello. Say hello. Yeah. Those are yummy. There's guys over there with the, with the AKs and the... Hello. Gage, we having fun? <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Fun I can have. That's right. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Tajikistan at 8,000 feet. we got a boulder falling across the road. We've been here for half an hour. And a bunch of guys are trying to move it. Um, you can see the cars going back waiting. We'll see what we can see here. Now, being too crazy, not safe. Holy Jesus! Look at this. In the 
kids. Little kids are tending this entire sheep herd. There we go. Kicking them out of the way there. Hurry up, son. Look at these guys. Oh, look at this puppy dog. He's got the British UK flag on, and here comes the puppy dog. The puppy dog's helping him. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? in this huge bowl. <laughs> saw 150 Marco Polo sheep earlier. And now, this is where we came from. That's China on the other side. The guys, they see a really, really big Marco Polo up on the hill. I said, we're going, we're going. I said, okay, okay, we jump out of the car. They said, how far? He says, can you shoot a thousand yards? I said, I don't know, maybe, maybe I try. <laughs> then he goes to 1100 yards. Nerland's helping, adjusting the MOA. We went from 19 to 20 to 21. I shoot, not sure if I hit him or not, missed him. He's still going. Now the guys range him again, 1260. I held a little up this time, 1,260 yards. Pow! Down, broke him down <laughs> like a lawn chair. He is up on that hill someplace. Guys, thank you. You thank you. Distance was 100, 1,260. First new record. New yeah. record. Yeah, new, new record. record. New yeah. record. Okay. Congratulations. 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 Good shots. Good shots. Thank, thank you. Okay. Okay, we've stopped here on the side of the mountain. The guys are hiking way up there. We got Nerlin, we got all the guys. We shot them from way down there in the valley where the sun is 1260 yards. Amazing. Right. The shot came from down there, right when it turns from light brown to brown, all the way up this hill, all the way to the top of the rock. And I don't know if you can see the boys going to get them. 1260 yards rather be lucky than good any day this has just been a dream come true we saw this guy from down the bottom of the hill Nerlin said that's a big one we pulled the van up he was running going away at 1100 yards I missed he then went to 1260 yards and bang he went right down like a lawn chair. We did have one problem. As soon as we hit him, the Eagles came in and wanted him. But uh, I am just happy, lucky, <coughs> and blessed to be here. I want to thank these guys. Thank you, thank you very much for bringing it You're down. Welcome. You can't see. We're at 15,500 feet. The air is very thin and it's zero degrees so we're going to do this quickly because we're really cold but thank you again very much really appreciate it congratulations thank you for you
can't get an appreciation from is all three of these guys are 6'2", 200 plus pounds. That's a 425 to 450 pound sheep. That thing is a monster. thinking that they see some ibex way the hell up there at about 15,000 feet of elevation and uh, these canyons are just stunning this scenery uh, you talk about austere environment any animal that's making a living up here is a beast Somebody missed it. <laughs> yeah, 950 yards with a crosswind. Yeah, that's he, somebody missed it. Yeah, okay. You, you're standing still. You make that shot. But come talk to me on the. Yeah, big yeah. 12 o'clock, it looks like a two track I drove. <laughs> okay, but you see the two track above it? Yeah. It looks like a two track drove up it. Yeah. Right above that is the next big rock grouping. They are right below that biggest rock. And that rock grouping is standing there. This is dirt. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but, it's the big <laughs> but it's still better to stay on it. Stay on him. He walked Just out. Pull it. Just hold it. Zoda, 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 Zoda. Yeah, yeah, Zoda, Zoda. No, no, join us, Tarsha, Paul, Jotis. You guys, you guys, what do you think I'm Chris Kyle or something? I mean, 900 yards, every, you know. Woo! Go, go, fuck! This is a goat rope, goat rope. We had a shot this morning. These boys are pushing me out to a thousand yards on every shot. They drove to this spot right here and gave me an 800 yard shot. You see, all the way 
from the top of that hill, 800 yards. I missed at 9.50 this morning, six inches forward, so I held back. Look behind the ribs, and the boys just radioed from all the way up there. He is dead, so got it done. It's about one o'clock on, I think it's Friday, dudes. Is that right? Sounds good to me. Uh, we got, we had an opportunity this morning at roughly a thousand yards with a squirrel, big time angle, just couldn't get it done. We missed six inches forward. Uh, continued driving around. We saw some wolves or whatever, and then we saw these, this guy. Everybody jumped out of the truck. All excited, we saw this guy at roughly 700-ish yards, 30-ish degree angle, not an easy shot. And uh, it was a, it was definitely a rodeo to try to get me to find. I, I couldn't find it, couldn't see it. Finally, we saw it, um, squeezed the trigger. Everybody was saying he was hit. We didn't know where he was hit. Uh, we thought it was hit a little bit back, but because of the angle, the bullet uh, angled out and it was a kill shot. So these amazing guys behind me hiked this mountain that's just way high, brought it down. So thank you to everybody um, for all of your help. And thank you. Yes. For Congratulations. Yes. yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yes. Come on. Is done. Alright. Where oh where is my favorite puppy dog? Been moving around for ten seconds here now not come to greet me before we leave which is unusual he's always oh there he is he's uh he's doing his job watching the perimeter that is a kick-ass dog Tolik, how are you my friend Salam alaikum. this guy is the guardian of the property here he's sloppy kissy here he comes let's go hello baby good kissing he's a good boy He's a good boy. The wolves are scared shitless of him, aren't they? Yeah, you and your partner, wherever he is, this guy doesn't play. He's a sweet boy. I've been here in the daytime. I got here at dark. Uh, this is the entrance to the hot spring camp. That building there on the right is where I slept. the entrance to the dining hall. Right range is right over here, out to a thousand yards. Kind of cool. All right, I gotta tell you, I've been in some pretty remote places in my life. North Pole, Africa, a couple other places, Tonga. There's no place in the world this remote. 20 hours in the air. That doesn't count the layovers. And then 27 hours in the car. This is uh, pretty much your uh, ends of the earth right here, but worth every second of it. <laughs> 